Hey guys, welcome back to the HRC channel. Ty here is here. I hope you had a fantastic week. I have so much respect for the musical producers, those magicians who take regular sounds that we all have access to and somehow turn them into the mega hits. One of those very talented and promising young producers is Phineas, who happens to be the person behind a lot of the music created by Billie Eilish, and yes, he also happens to be her sister. I want to make sure that by the end of this video you do not only rediscover a little bit Phineas for yourself, but you also learn a few inspirational things that will help you in carving your own path to your dream project. Let's do this! The song is so not, like it should not be taken seriously, so I had to add a little stupiosity. Yeah, you... Ah, <laughs> 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 stupiosity! On this channel, I focus on three topics, people, places, and tech. If you're curious to learn more about other inspirational individuals who will help you in the pursuit of your own passion, well, check out this playlist over here. I promise some of those individuals will surprise you. Well, Phineas is a unique individual because ultimately, yes, he is Billie Eilish's brother. He is the person behind all the major hits and songs that she wrote. They co-wrote it and created them together. They write the music together, they write the lyrics together, they mix, they engineer it, they record it. Everything is done together between the two of them. Phineas is an artist in his own right, but I want to avoid making this video as in, hey, look, Phineas is not just Billie Eilish's brother. He is, and I never got this line of thinking. I have a very talented sister, and if she makes it to that scale of Billie Eilish, she becomes as popular in her own field. Heck, I'll be proud to be known as her brother. Just carve it on my tombstone for all I care. And frankly, I was pleasantly surprised to learn that Phineas shares the same line of thinking. You know, I, I couldn't be more proud of every song that I've, I've made with you, and there's a lot of like articles about me now about how I'm not just Billie Eilish's brother and just being Billie Eilish's brother is all I ever want to be. I love Billie more than anything else and I'm so grateful to you and I love you. That is why instead of focusing on who did what and how much his success built into her success, her success influenced his success, like we're gonna skip all of that. I'd rather focus on three key themes that they both share but we will learn them from a perspective of Phineas. The resourcefulness and how to approach it, how to pursue your own unique style and ultimately how to pursue your own passion. Stupiosity. Resourcefulness. Billy and Phineas come from relatively humble beginnings. The seemingly medium income family, household, two bedroom house, somewhere in California. They did not have that legacy, the millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment to lean on. The core of their style started at that humble beginning where they did not have much and they had to make the most of it. They preserve that resourcefulness through their style today. The mega popular album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? <laughs> I was afraid to mess up the name of that album. That album was recorded in the bedroom in their old parents' house. I'll sit here and she'll be like right there and I'll just bring the microphone over to where she is and she recorded, I think she recorded pretty much every vocal for the entire album sitting on my bed like with her legs crossed, which is kind of insane. They stripped everything that was not important. It was really that intimacy that helped them continue down that creative path. It was literally the microphone, the laptop, a couple of recorders and just the two of them in that bedroom recording the entire billion plus streamed album. And it's funny, I love watching Phineas talk about his laptop on the following video and essentially describing how some of the biggest hits that he produced were literally done with that single laptop alone. To produce a song, I think a lot of people think you need a lot of gear and I don't know, for, for me, like I just need a laptop, that's pretty much it. There's a couple songs on the last EP of mine, a couple songs I've done for other artists that I've, I've literally like produced on flights using the, the actual keys of the laptop to like play chords and then um, orchestrating everything else. And all I need is a laptop to produce a song. So many times in our lives we make this excuse, I don't have this insert thousands of dollars worth of equipment that masters of the field usually use. We need to strip all of that away. Think about the fact that Phineas, could he create all of this music, all of this mega hits with a big orchestra in this major production studio with like 10 engineers sitting around him? Of course he could, but they on purpose stripped all of that away. They dropped all of this complexity to pursue the creativity. When you put yourself in the position where on purpose, 
things are limited. You don't have all these tools to distract you, all these toys and bells and whistles uh, to switch on and off. When you are primarily just sitting there by yourself, it's the tool that helps you create your camera, your laptop, your microphone, whatever it may be. And it's a group of very close individuals, maybe all by yourself, just doing what you do best putting your imagination to the test and creating your passion project. That is why even in my nine to five job, if you want me to make it relevant to the office jobs, I much rather go into the blank slate projects or projects that are really messy and broken down. The reason why is very simple. Everyone can get things done with millions of dollars in software and tools and teams with everything preset. Not many can start something from scratch or build something out of nothing. Stupidity. Unique style. One of the downsides of having access to the best tools and a lot of different libraries, especially when you're a music composer, is that a lot of other great music composers have access to the same exact libraries. So all of a sudden, every single song sounds exactly the same. That is why I really appreciated how Finis decided for himself that he will not go down that path. He will on purpose go and procure he will find the most unique sounds in the most common places. This is me just lighting a bunch of matches in a bathroom. You know when you press like the button on the roof of the, the airplane to like summon a flight attendant and it goes like doom -goom. I took that and I pitch shifted it into like diff like all of the different chords. On the impact of the second chorus, the thing that ended up really like making the difference was this sound of this RPG going off. When I heard him describing his creative process, I realized that, you know what, if I would ever meet this guy, we would get really well along. I exactly approached the same way my photography, because when I start playing around right outside of the video, when I start playing around with photography and I start scrolling through Instagram, looking at other people's portfolios, they all look the same. Like you scroll through some of these top photographers today, it almost looks exactly the same. Right now they're all entering the fall season and all of a sudden it's all gonna be like the yellow, black, high contrast, darker shadows. It will look almost identical. And sometimes you really lose the track of like, am I looking at the same photographer? Oh no, I actually switched to five different photographers and I did not even notice the difference. I knew when I was switching my style that it's gonna be risky, it's not gonna be 100% a hit, but I'd rather go in that pursuit of these finer details, trying to find those small details in very regular spots like hydrants, like posts at the construction site, things of that nature. But I will find a different angle, find a different way of showing it, and I will snap a photo of it and I will post it. And yes, similarly to engineering, medical field, uh, any kind of sciences, business work, 10 times you would attempt to find a creative approach, creative solution to already well-known problem, you will not succeed nine out of those 10 times. But it will be worth for trying for that one occasion when you will find a completely creative and new solution that no one saw that was right there in the plain sight and that solution will set you tears above all those of thousands of people who are all used to doing things in exactly the same way stupidity your path this final point builds perfectly on the prior segment essentially we are here I'm talking about Phineas, you guys are watching this video about Phineas, so maybe you checked out the playlist with some of the other inspirational people that I spoke about in the past. We are seeking inspiration from those individuals. It's very scary, <laughs> I'll be the first one to admit. It can get really scary to try and carve your own path. It's much easier to go look at those who really excelled in our field and try to almost like reverse engineer their path to success. But Phineas made a very good point in the following segment on why it is a bad idea. Everybody's like journey to the same destination career-wise is like so different. And I think like whatever you're doing, if you're enjoying doing it and you feel like you're making something that you're proud of, like that's what you should be doing. As a kid, I thought I should be doing what some hero of mine did. And none of those things ever worked out for me. It only really worked out when I was just like, I'll just do what I really like doing. Right? I can use myself as an example here. I can kind of like both toot my own horn, but also <laughs> take myself down a little bit. Think about the YouTube space. 
It's very saturated space at this point. Anyone with a cell phone can really become a YouTube creator and very successful creator at it. So when I'm entering that field, I do have plenty of other people who've been successful, who've grown to millions and millions of subscribers, who've done a lot of great things, a lot of great creative content, and I can follow their path. I can go and replicate what they've done. MKBHD is a great example. I've made a video about him maybe like six weeks ago or so. And in that video, I highlighted how I liked his approach to details in the top-down shots. And what I did next, for the subsequent like three or four weeks, I've been testing and playing around with ways by which I could replicate exactly the same approach. So in one case, you could say, hey, I can just go and keep doing the same thing over and over again because it works, right? It looks great. But this is not for me. This is not for anyone. I replicate because I want to learn. The imitation is the best form of flattery, as they say, but it's also a great way to learn. But then ultimately you need to develop the path forward. You need to understand that that initial step where you imitate someone is the only step you will take with imitation. Every subsequent evolution of your style, of your project, of the work that you do, should follow your own path. You must step off of that well-paved road onto your own path. Your dream, your passion, the resolution of all your goals will not lie on someone else's path. They've already carved it, they already took care of everything that's rare. Your own dreams will only be found on your own path and you have to carve at it no matter how scary, how intimidating, how stressful it can be. If you want to just be one of those many, if you want to live the life the way others do and just sit there and relax and enjoy the flow, that is fine. That is a choice you're free to make. But if you're right here today seeking inspiration for that big ambition, big dream that you have in your own mind, well, I have news for you you will have to find your own path to it. You can and you should always seek inspiration. You and I, we should inspire each other. We should really find those small things that we can replicate, maybe learn, maybe adjust, do things slightly differently. But eventually, all of those steps will build towards us finding our own passion, our own goal on our own path. Stupidity. Did you know anything about Phineas? Did you find something very inspirational about his approach? And what are other lessons we could have learned from Billy and Phineas, that brother-sister duo who are really and tremendously exciting to observe and learn from? Share your thoughts, suggestions, and ideas in the section below. It's funny how the more videos like this that I make about different inspirational individuals, the more I realize that I really gravitate towards the kind of personality that Phineas is. Very much down to earth, relaxed, not full of themselves, but ridiculously good at their field. Not to say that there's anything bad about being flashy or like the center of attention, standing there in the middle of the glory. There are only two criteria you should meet. You should be tremendously hardworking and just a good person. That's all that matters. Everything else is absolutely up to you. Thank you very much guys for stopping by. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and check out the videos in the backlog. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for stopping by. As always, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this video. And I will see you all next Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern on this very channel. Another cool thing about carving your own path, or in this case, me doing the whole like people places tag on this YouTube channel is that I had another tech idea for the video for this week, but then I woke up in the morning and I was like, Hey, somehow randomly I thought about that interview that Phineas did with Jimmy Fallon. I rewatched it in the morning and I was like, I want to make a video about Phineas. Yeah, and that's it. And I changed my mind on the spot and I love that I have that liberty to do that because I am on my own path. Simple as that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.